We are grateful to have received the opportunity to represent India at such a huge international event. The 56th International Chemistry Olympia 2024 held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. We would like to encourage all boys and girls to come forward. Participate in the Olympiad and make India proud. Jai Hind! Mathematics, Physics और अब बारी आई है इंटरनेशनल केमिस्ट्री ओलंपियाड की जिसमें भारतीय स्टूडेंट्स ने एक गोल्ड दो सिल्वर और एक ब्रॉन्ज लाने का काम किया है तो आइए ऐसे में ले चलते हैं आपको होमी भाभा सेंटर फॉर साइंस एजुकेशन में और बातचीत करते हैं उन गोल्ड और सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट बच्चों से वेलकम अवनीश एंड हर्षन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू for winning silver for india in this international chemistry olympiad held in um, saudi arab so uh, tell us about yourself starting with your uh, schooling institution which you are associated with and let a bit glimpse about that uh, so my name is avnish bansal and i am currently living in kota although i am from mumbai so i am studying there i am in class 12th and chemistry is one of my favorite subjects and i think it's because chemistry is all around us everywhere and it's in what we do what we see I think chemistry is one way we can change the world. Yes, it is. I'll come towards that. Yeah, yourself. My name is Harshan. Uh, I live and study in Hyderabad. Um, I am going. I was in Fiji Junior College and now have got an admission into IIT Delhi. Great. Now, as you talked about that, chem chemistry is in our our day to day life. Yes. We can say because when we go through the processes, mm -hmm. uh, learning science in school, uh, we learn about the sodium and you know, yes. the you know the short forms, and of course the H two O and the CO two, which is all over the carbon emissions we are talking. I'll come towards the experimental uh, yes. things, and of course uh, the theoretical part, which you were uh, you know uh, which you had in this during this competition. So tell us about uh, how the competition was, how rigorous and tough it was so basically uh, the competition consists of two parts which is one theoretical and one practical your uh, both of them are 5 hours long and practical uh, this year we had two practicals which was one hour 45 minutes for one and three hour 15 minutes for the other they were challenging in the sense that the concept was simple what we had to do was simple but the way to do it was the tricky part and that's when you know you have fun <laughs> And for the theoretical, we had nine problems spread out over five hours. Again, you usually have eight to ten, so there were nine problems out of which five were uh, mainly from physical chemistry, which uh, with a bit of mix from inorganic. Six, seven, eight, and nine were organic plus inorganic. Yes, sir. Um, the practical part this year um, we didn't have very detailed instructions and that was a rather interesting take. So we had to come up with our own um, methodology of figuring out what the unknown compounds were for the first task. And that was quite challenging and it was an interesting task. Next, I will come towards your experience uh, in Saudi Arabia. And of course, the roar for India yes. uh, was there. Yes. Uh, you in your words. You mean the support that we received? Yes. Okay. So yes, uh, from since we landed, there were people all around us reminding us of the wonders that we are doing in other Olympiads and what we have done in chemistry that we would do. We were congratu being congratulated before we got the medals. We were saying we know India will do well. So that was kind of reassuring. And yeah. Yourself. India's reputation in the Olympiads is very strong, and that was always quite motivating for us. Uh, pushes us to where work on and achieve higher and higher goals. So coming from different parts of India, do, don't you think that Olympiads are a platform also to keep India unite? Definitely they are. You have people from all races, from all parts of India coming together to represent the country. You have a delegation of eight members, four teachers and four students. And I think eight is more than enough to represent everything that happens in our country. It's not, uh, it, it is in the end, the thing is, if you magnify it, you have so m much diversity from India. Imagine the world, 90 countries coming together. So it is truly a platform for anything you would like to say. Um, I have also quite strongly felt that Olympiads have let me connect with the other parts of India through even the camps, like um, where there are people from all over the country coming together. So, yeah, it's uh, always a great experience to meet these many people. So, unlike s sports, like in Paris mm -hmm. Olympics, yeah. we talk about we are really doing well now in Olympiad also. Uh, there is a big roar, which I could see for, with your uh, students who are, uh, you know, performing really good. My question to you is uh, when we come towards India back. And of course, you have got some sort of uh, a training from the Homi Bhabha uh, Center 
for science education so how was the process and how do you see government of india uh, initiative helping you uh, you know uh, taking no money you know training you so how do we, how do you see uh, these kind of processes by the support of government of india i think this is a very fantastic effort that is being uh, that is being undertaken by the government because it allows india to have a representation at an international level it gives our students an opportunity to explore chemistry or explore any subject for that matter and i think homi baba has a major role in training the students and sending us they we have multiple rigorous tests and training camps here also our mentors and our teachers is like a huge team which sets the problems for us even if they might not accompany us there's a lot of background work that goes on and eventually the four mentors who do accompany us they have to <laughs> make sure that everything is right for us everything is fair and problems are well designed clear for us i mean it's a combined effort so the four medals are not just ours it's for the whole team for it's for india for india yes essentially yourself um it was very interesting um at, towards the end of the camp i was able to f- see a lot more of the effort that goes into organizing such a huge event especially when you have to create such high quality um exams to select the best of the country and the effort that they put in from not only to just the mentors that have accompanied us but all of the people at HPCSC it was very amazing to see and i'm quite grateful to them hats off to all your uh, mentors who accompanied you with, and you know throughout mm-hmm. this journey and my last liner to you of course um, from here what where you see yourself in the near future what you would be doing just one line i i okay that's a nice one though but yeah i see myself using chemistry to help people yourself i am going to be uh, going into computer science but i hope to be able to use the um, i hope to be able to include other subjects and do something interdisciplinary um, rather than just pure computer science so i hope to be able to use chemistry in that sense something innovative from india and for india yes definitely we have been doing that we will be doing that i agree Hi Devesh first of all congratulations to you for winning the gold for the country and in this chemistry uh, international chemistry olympiad held in riyadh so tell us about the journey and about yourself where you belong from i am devesh pankaj bhaiya from jaiga maharashtra i am currently studying class 12 in agach patel english medium school I got gold medal at the icho 2024 held in riyadh so i want to ask you that how rigorous the process has been um, you know uh, to qualify this and win gold for india the process starts in november where uh, in a national open competition is held uh, out of which 350 students are selected for the second stage which is held in january then uh, a 10 days extensive camp which also teaches you and Uh, your skills are also tested at HBCS itself is uh, taken place in May. Then after that, uh, the team is selected, the fourth students team, who also undergo another extensive training in uh, July just before the uh, Olympiad for fifteen days, and then uh, we go to the Olympiad and. my question to you of course now we'll come to the experimental and the theoretical part tell us about what experiment was it there were two practicals the practicals were separated into two parts first one was 1 hour 45 minutes which was related to um, uh, identifying compounds with respect uh, using only the indicators and their color changes and also its uh, thin layer chromatography and the second one was a um, uh, four mass based titrations uh, which included uh, ca- ca- finding the concentrations of many species uh, present in the system so my next question to you of course you have been to a gulf country saudi arab in um, and riyadh city so i would like to ask you how was the experience and how i, I was seeing one of the videos also just a glimpses before starting the interview that uh, some sort of uh, you know felicitation was given to you uh, from uh, the honorable dignitaries there so how was the experience uh, the experience was really good we were, uh, we were there for 10 days and the hospitality was very good the culture was a mix of saudi culture international culture they and it was a overall a very good uh, region to stay in you can say with your experience uh, now uh, the india's voice is heard by the globe uh, yes sir uh, sure even when we just entered the hostel the uh, coordinator there told us that wow you are indian team you you got four golds in imo 
so uh, it was a proud moment for us hi kashyap first of all my congratulations you to you uh, for winning this bronze at the international uh, chemistry olympia 2024 so tell us about yourself which school you belong to where you hail from namaste i'm kashyap from uh, i'm in, currently taking admission into iit bombay computer science and engineering and um, i am from pace college in, uh, and institute for i uh, give je exam this year my next question to you how rigorous the process has been and simultaneously i would like to ask you that how the the um, the homi bhava center for science education has helped you in this process uh, to where you have achieved this bronze so while studying for je i didn't get much time to devote specifically for chemistry so and homi bhava the center ensured to give me all the guidance and all the material necessary to do this well at the chemistry olympiad they helped me with all the stuff for practicals i had very less practical exposure so that was a key component for the olympiad exam and they ensured that i had the perfect exposure all the regulations guidelines everything was taught nice my next question to you of course uh, as you talked about that you had little time you know with the with your schooling and the, this preparation so what are some some things which would like to improve uh, maybe you know help more uh, you need from the government side or anything would you like to say um the government doesn't recognize uh, performance at olympiads that much as other countries do but this time our honorable prime minister has uh, tweeted for the international mathematical olympiad people yeah that that is a uh, great that's recognition from the prime minister is obviously a uh, huge boost but in terms of admission and uh, for that i mean je is already very grilling and uh, in other countries people who get medals at olympiads and perform well get direct admissions and you know scholarships and all that stuff so uh, in india it's a bit not uh, encouraged that much so that i would like to say is required my last words to you of course uh, i would like to know about the theoretical part and the experimental part which you performed uh, during the olympiad theoretical when surprisingly well and um, practicals were <laughs> a bit weird uh, you could say i mean after the exam i was pretty confident but i didn't get the identification correct maybe i <laughs> messed up i think but the challenges and questions were very fun to solve and uh, new kinds of questions it's it's very interesting how they managed to frame these and you know get us involved in the questions that's very nice about the olympiads and yeah it was very fun to solve the questions yeah